Performed by real musicians and converted to MIDI, MIDI Super Tracks combine flexibility and artistry, and there are lots of them available in Band in a Box. From pop synths to jazz waltz pianos, we've got you covered. The built-in Apple DLS synth sounds may be good enough for some projects, but other projects will require custom sounds. I'm going to show you a project that I'm working on in GarageBand that incorporates MIDI Super Tracks, and then I'll show you how to customize them. Here is the current project that I'm working on, a slow 12-8 minor blues song in the key of C minor, with a basic 12 bar progression. I want my friend, a singer, to record a vocal part over this song. She likes singing over a piano when recording, but she finds this piano recording to be overly bright and too busy. I have to find a solution to this problem quickly and don't have time to record my own piano part. I can create a piano part and edit the tone in less than 5 minutes with MIDI Super Tracks. First, let's select a piano MIDI Super Track that has simple playing. Don't worry about the sound of the piano yet, just the notes that are being played. We can edit the piano sound later in GarageBand. Now I'll enter the key, tempo, and chord progression. And now I'll generate the part. I'll listen to it briefly just to make sure it's perfect. If it's not, I can generate the part again and it will be different. Then I can switch to DAW plugin mode and hold the shift key while dragging the piano radio to the drop station, which forces Band in a Box to create a MIDI file instead of rendering audio. I'll wait for the drop station to turn green, then drop the MIDI data directly into my GarageBand project. If you have a Band in a Box song with several MIDI tracks and you want to export them to GarageBand at the same time, you can hold down the shift key and drag the master radio to the drop station, then drag to GarageBand. All of your MIDI parts will be on separate tracks. Now all we need to do is create the right piano sound. We have two main options here. Use an AU plugin instrument or use the built-in MIDI sounds. I'll show you how to do both, but let's take a look at the built-in sounds first. The first step is to solo the new piano track so we can hear what we're changing. In the right column we have a choice of three pianos. I have chosen the grand piano on stage patch. Now let's switch to the edit tab. I have some compression, EQ, and reverb active. Let's take a quick look at my settings. You can add a new effect to your piano track at any time by clicking on one of the empty rectangles and selecting one from the list. Okay, so the piano is sounding pretty good, but let's hear the instrument plugin. I'll copy the MIDI data to another track with the AU piano plugin. I'm using a free upright piano AU plugin called Forefront Piano, which can be downloaded at the address below. You can also add things like compression, EQ, and reverb to modify instrument AU plugins. Now let's listen to them both and decide which sounds better.
I prefer the sound of the built-in GarageBand sounds, so I'll erase this extra track and my project is complete. I think my friend will be very happy with the results. Thank you.